Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to and welcome back to another Photoshop Nail Skin Retouching Tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I go about my Nail Skin Retouching and also color grading. So, before we get into the video, I'm going to ask you to do one thing for me and that's hit below and click that subscribe button to become a part of my family, which is the photo family. So, let's get into the video. Alrighty. So the first thing I like to do when going into my retouching process is number one, analyzing what needs to be done. I see that we have discoloration between the nose, the mouth, some of the skin, and then also I want to correct stray hairs that are also here as well, and simply bringing a little bit more warmth within his, school, uh, his skin. He has a very bluish green undertone to his skin, so I want to restore a little bit more warmth back within it. So. The way I like to go into it first is getting into going from top to bottom. When you go from top to bottom, you get to, you know, keep track of your workflow process. And it also gives you the ability to make a faster way of retouching so that you're not all over the place. It kind of keeps things a little bit more uniform. So what I'm going to do is just start brushing along. Also, it probably will come up. I have a Wacom pen tablet. And this is what I'm going to be using today as well. If you want to find the Wacom pen tablet that I'm using, hit to the description below and I have my Amazon affiliate link placed down there. And if you click on it and you purchase it, it helps me in the channel out. And I would very much appreciate that. So we're just going to keep going about our way. And the thing about retouching as well is you don't have to, especially me personally, when it comes to male skin, you don't have to do too much, but at the same time, you want to make sure you're just getting a clean, natural result. And one thing about me, I love to diminish, but not simply remove, because I feel that when it comes to male skin, you have so many different variations of skin texture and tonality. And that's the beauty behind it, you know, just keeping a very polished, clean, natural touch. But at the same time, it's having, you know, uh, it's different characteristics that are realistic to that person. Even when it comes to maybe moles or, uh, you know, scars, I like to keep those things within the image because it's authentic to this person's, you know, makeup. So when you see this person, you know, whether it's in a magazine or a publication or you know, uh, in an agency or anything like that, you don't simply have an image that it's removed and then you see them in person. It's like, wh what, where, you know, did this come from? Okay, within this uh, retouching as well, I will be color grading using my Photoshop actions. So if you would like, you can head to the description to the photo store and check out some of my Photoshop presets showing you how I get the results within my workflow. And then also I have some photography, lighting diagram, eBooks and booklets showing you how I light. So check it out in the description. Alrighty. So I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'll show you a quick before, boom, and after, there we go. And what I will go to next is the dodge and burn process. I like to go in and start using this in areas that are kind of you know, dark, what it allows me to do is also keep that texture within the skin without removing that. So I'm simply just using the dodge tool to go in and clean these areas up. Let's see. Oh, that's a little bit too harsh. Okay. Bring some detail within the lip, but not too much. Bring some shine within the nose, but not too much, you know. Boom. Bring detail back into the hair. Perfect. And we're just going to keep going around. Also, one thing to pay attention to when it comes to retouching is making sure you pay attention to the mouth around around the corners of it because sometimes you can have discoloration or darkness around that particular area that you can correct within Photoshop. 
and it just makes it a little bit more even natural result all right perfect so here we go now the next thing I'm going to get into is none other than frequency separation I use a frequency separation panel by a photographer by the name of Prince Mason he has a retouching essential pack that I like to use for things like this using mail, quick mail skin retouching videos using simple things like uh, high frequency separation so I'm going to go over here to the mix brush tool and I'm just going to start cleaning this area up and just keep rolling it around as we go and what's going to happen a little bit within this it's going to number one clean up the tonality and texture but also you do slightly lose some detail within this simply because we're working with a frequency separation but we can also go in and restore that back to the skin as well using uh, dodge and burn or you know different techniques within that to bring variations of uh, dimension back into it that's going to be lost through this and we're just going to keep cleaning it up I don't want to do too much but I want to do just enough you know a little balance okay and then also I'm going to do the lips too just to clean that up so so I'm going to zoom out a little bit and I am going to deselect the high frequency and this is where we are so far and what I want to do as well is merge these together and then what I'm going to do is add some contrast to bring some dimension back into it we're going to go up to the adjustments tool and add a little bit of warmth see that popping on in and we're going to add a little bit of yellow within there as well not too much because he already has a yellowish skin tone so the last thing I want to do is add more of that and then it kind of looks off I'm also going to go over to the properties tool and go up to the selective coloring and I just want to play with the adjustments to bring some warmth within the skin as well and all of this is simply done within the adjustments panel let's see I'm going to add a little bit more and just play with it there we go all right I'm going to back up and merge this into a visible layer and also I'm going to use my luxury sand Photoshop action like I said you can check this out they're in my photography store and they're five dollars we have a pack that's twenty dollars for four and a pack of fifteen for forty five so click that link and if you do purchase the pack and you use the uh, you know the actual action pack I would love to see it if you tag me on Instagram and I'll repost it for you okay so the last thing I am going to do as well to this one of the last things is go to the skin tone and I just want to go and I'm going to use this over at the pool. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I'm simply going to go and start brushing this lightly along these areas I want to blend the skin in just a tiny bit more there we go like I said I just want to keep a very clean natural result I don't want to overdo it just want to really just have it a little bit better and natural than what it was to start off with there we go I'm going to back off a little bit I am going to also let's see go into the filters and I want to add just a little bit of noise in this as well and that will be it so we are going to add that we'll do a six percent and 
let's go up one more click OK that way we have a little bit of you know texture to the image as well and this is where we started off from we have the history boom from start to finish of where we are right now it's a very clean natural result it's not overproduced it's not over polished it just looks like it's him so I hope you enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe click that subscribe button to become a part of the photo family check out my photography store to see more content like this like the actions that I use within this and I will see you back in the next video I'm out Thank you.